Good evening, Viva MK. It's six o'clock on the 16th of August, 2019, and I'm absolutely delighted to be back here giving you an update on our business. So just a little um, a summary of what's happened in the last few weeks. Three weeks ago, I told you that um, it, it, everything started. You know, I became the solo owner of Viva MK. And just for the record, because of course, with these things, there's always many rumors flying about. Not that I pay much attention to those. Um, but no, my partners didn't do a runner on me. No, they didn't dump me. We just decided to go into different directions. And the parting has been very, very amicable. That's it. There's nothing else you need to know. That was three weeks ago. Two weeks ago, I did a Facebook Live at six o'clock um, on a Friday two weeks ago, and I told you that the plan was in motion. It was underway, but of course, things were going to be exceptionally busy because the goals that we have to achieve in just a matter of weeks and make the transition are absolutely humongous. Probably a bigger project than I've ever, ever put my hands onto. And I've certainly put my hands onto some projects in the past. And in two weeks, it'll be the dawning of our showcase. So everything has been happening so far. So only three weeks ago, um, this whole process started where we had to um, reform the business, restructure it and change it. Um, of course, talking about um, Facebook Lives, many people do Facebook Lives and let me tell you about that. You know, many people from many businesses do Facebook Lives. I'd like to think ours is special, not because I'm doing it, but it's just special. And the reason it's special, because I'm not carrying this message for an organization. I'm not a leader in a company. I'm not carrying the message for anybody else. I am the message. You know, this is the only message. It's not an interpretation of what a company is doing. It's not a version of what a company is up to. I'm not trying to explain to you what the company that I'm involved with does. This is the message. Now, that's the big difference between hearing my message and maybe anybody else's from any other organization. And that's not taking anything away from anybody. I never do that. You know, you, you, you never criticize other companies. My point is that this is the message. It's not on behalf of anybody. It's not as part of a company. It is the message, the company talking directly to you. And that's something special that we have. And I'll always Always want to maintain that connection that I'm not a representative I am the message and the only message um, to me that's quite special and I want to always maintain that not just with the pioneers of the organization but with everybody that's involved that I can have this direct contact with you not just through Facebook live but through emails through messages and the other hundred ways that you find ways of contact me including knocking on the front door but anyway, I am the message. So I've missed um, speaking to you last week, but it has been a very busy time. I remember telling you two weeks ago, it was like that scene from Faulty Towers where Basil Faulty, if you're old enough to remember, is on the ladder putting the moose head up. And every time he gets up on the ladder, he has to come back down from the ladder to answer the phone to tell Sybil that he's putting the moose head up. Anyway, it's quite a fractious situation, but I was relating that to the fact that people keep asking me how are things going? And rightly so, because you're concerned about the business, you're part of the business, and you're excited about things going. So yes, it has been a, a moose head of uh, two weeks. Every now and again, it fell off and hit me on the head. And if you remember when, when that happened to Basil Fawlty, he completely went mad for a short period. Well, that's happened too. Yes, it fell. And talking of Basil Fawlty, not this is a resurrection of old sitcoms, but um, the Monty Python foot, if you remember Monty Python, as it just slams down on you. Well, anything that's happened has been happening, but we've been making progress and I'll tell you about that in a moment. So the goal was always to resurrect the business, have a brand new infrastructure, brand new logistics infrastructure, new catalogs, and basically launch the business at the showcase. That's all. We had a, just a handful of weeks to do that. And I told you two weeks ago that we've got a very select a bunch of people on board with us, helping us and supporting us. People that have a huge experience, not only from Clean Easy, but catalog backgrounds, but of course, 
general mail order and selling through catalog so you know it was in it was a case of enlisting some of the best people that i could get onto board to blackmail them cajole them and bully them but one way or another we got them on board and they're working away um i didn't give you any names because it wasn't necessary to do that but many of them you will know and i told you that I had six people working on our behalf in the business trying to, as trying to get us to where we want to be so let me just tell you what's been happening. I know we've had a few challenges with deliveries um, over the last few days, the last few weeks, in fact. Uh, I do believe we're all caught up this afternoon for all deliveries that up to three o'clock last last night, uh, yesterday afternoon. I also explained in my email yesterday that there will be a few challenges whilst this transition is going on and do be flexible with those delays. Next week, and I can only apologize for that, but it, it you know, I kind of knew it was coming, which is why I tried to preempt it. But you can never be sure what the impact is really going to be. I can only apologize. I don't want to let customers down um, and I don't want to let you down, obviously. On Monday or very first thing Tuesday, but we're aiming for Monday, we'll give you a full timeline of what's going to happen over the next few weeks as we make our transition. Uh, so you'll need to know ordering days, um, order delivery times, and anything else you need to know. Um, we'll put that in a communication on Monday so you're fully aware leading up to the showcase. Um, catalogs are under production. It's not an easy task, as you well and truly know, as I've so demonstrated over the years. It's not an easy process. It's not a straightforward process, but we're certainly getting there. Um, one of the key things that many of you keep asking every time I get up on the ladder to put the moose head up, I come down and answer the phone. But one of the things you're asking you often is pricing of products. I know that's been a contentious issue many times through our first year in Viva MK as we were establishing our, our stake in the ground. Um, that's one thing I'm very concerned about. I've always told you that. Um, it's something that we are going to look at and we're going to really make that prominent in these catalogs that the one thing that your customers will say of all the criticisms they may have, it certainly won't be pricing at the top of their, their list. Um, so that's something that we're definitely concentrating on. And that's just to answer the many, many, many times I've been asked that over the last two weeks. Um, logistics, we've got the whole um, setup organized already. Um, we won't start shipping from the new location just yet. Again, many people have been asking me where the location is and I've been saying none of your goddamn business will tell you when it's appropriate and time to tell you. I mean, you don't need to know where these things are coming from, what you need to know. And I, don't get me wrong, and I do appreciate you asking. I know it's because you care and I know it's because you're excited about the business. I will tell you all when it's all set up and it's all ready to press the button. In respect of the initial setup and the location and the process, all of that is already in place. Um, and from next week, uh, week commencing Monday the 19th, we'll even start um, accepting um, products that will be coming into these, this location for the new catalog. So as you can see, things are moving very fast. None of this was possible by me alone. It's taken a team of people working behind the scenes to get this done. Um, and as you can imagine, you know, th there is a lot of plates spinning and a lot of things that have to happen. And, you know, many of us have been through this before um, and we've seen what happens when things don't go quite right. So it's taken a lot of planning, um, you know, a, a lot of backbreaking and a lot of just persistence and consistency. And that's the way you have to do these things. So logistics, I'm happy with that. Catalogs are in production. Uh, the next big thing that will happen, of course, is our showcase. Last week, I revealed to you my selection of speakers. You know, every single one of them has a story and a training to offer that will inspire and motivate you. And I know, you know, we've always had various selection of speakers and I always pick them for a reason. Um, the ones that you will see 
on um, the 31st, like I say, are from completely different backgrounds, completely different stories, completely different aspects of the business. And that will be, you know, fantastic training and inspiration. You know, the showcase is about many things. We called it Don't Stop Me Now. Little did I know that that was going to become, you know, a very important statement, as in Don't Stop Me Now, a very important statement for this business. I won't stop me, no one can stop me, and no one can stop us when we're working together. And that's very prominent in this organization. Your support, and I'll come back to the showcase in a second, but your support over the last three weeks since this process happened has been unbelievable. I've even got some of you, and quite a few of you in fact, involved in various aspects behind the scenes, and I'll reveal all of those names when the time is right. But you know, it, it's true to be said that when people are enthusiastic, and when people are excited, you know, it, it's amazing what can be achieved and what we have achieved together in just three weeks has been unbelievable. There's still a long way to go but three weeks ago when it all started I kid you not because most of it was a whirlwind I didn't really have a plan. I knew it had to be done but I didn't have a very specific plan. Now it's a very specific plan with dates and times and schedules. And the intention is to hit that, of course. So the showcase on the 31st, yes, it's about speakers. Yes, it's about telling you exactly what's happening um, from the message, because I'm not delivering a message on anybody else's behalf. I am the message. So we will talk about the business and we'll get the inspiration and training. But again, like happened back in February, it is a connection of all the people that are in this business that make this business what it is. A fantastic connection of people. I remember saying at that showcase, it felt like we were home again. And that's really what I want to try and recreate on the 31st, a sense of home, a sense of belonging, a sense of partnership. Now, as a leader in another organization, I couldn't do that, but I can promise you that as the owner of this organization. You know, we're all partners in this. I will always maintain that, but that sense of home is what I want to bring back, and it'll be a celebration. It'll be a kickstart to the business. It'll be a celebration, and those things connected together will give us what I regard probably our most important showcase to date. So, Um, Just to recap, yes, everything is on track. I appreciate everything you've done, all the support. Ah, there's been challenges, but of course there's going to be. You know, anything worth doing has its challenges. Nothing worth doing is straightforward. Like I've always mentioned, the long and winding road. You know, we will have a business that we will all be proud of. I've got so much input from so many of you and, you know, I, I, know, I know I've often joked about people saying, you know, some tough things, and that's fine. I do that myself, as you well and truly know. But the beauty is that so many of you have got such a clear idea as well of what the business should be. And, you know, remarkably, I know I've said if you ask 100 different people, you get 100 different opinions. But remarkably, there's some very common threads of what people want in this business. And that's the amazing thing about about us. You know, I know we're going through a temporary bit of pain as we get back to where we want to be, but the amazing thing is, is that we're able to build a business that you want. You're not joining one that has been built decades ago and joining a structure that's already present. You're, you're almost creating this as you're going along, creating it with your input and your ideas and your feelings. And you know, it's fantastic because as much as I've joked about it in the past, there are some very common threads of common sense in what everybody says. Look, I've never underestimated that. I'm very aware of that. And it's fantastic as we re uh, uh, re-piecing the business together to involve some of that common thread of common sense that everybody is talking. And one of those areas, like I've already mentioned, has been pricing. You know, so look, 
it, it, it's it's not long to wait now before we do the reveals on everything. Um, I just wanted to, today to catch up to give you any confidence if you needed it that yes we're on track that the the whole exercise is monumental. Couldn't have done it without some great people on board, which you'll all get to hear about very soon. Couldn't have done it with your input, not just your everyday support. That's fantastic, but your actual input. There's people doing things in the network and you know what I didn't even have to ask and that's a fantastic thing what other company could that have ever happened in I didn't even have to ask and offers of help and cooperation were pouring in that doesn't happen it's not normal it is unique to us do you think that really happens in some of the other organizations absolutely bloody not it doesn't it happens in our business because we are a connection of people that call ourselves when we're together a sense of home and partnership and that makes a massive difference so I won't do a live next week because again like I've said it's exceptionally busy at the moment I don't want to keep sounding like I'm bleating about the same thing but you know it is busy but I will do a live on um, Thursday the 29th at midday so we'll resurrect our midday slot and that will give you a final kind of update before we deep uh, before we dive headfirst into the showcase weekend so Thursday the 29th at midday we'll have another brief update as I said before we dive into our showcase so Thank you for everything you're doing. Apologies for the deliveries and of course the, the rapidly dwindling stock in some of the catalogs. That was something that I told you from the beginning. It was going to happen as one system phases out and a new one comes in. The idea is to keep the piece in the middle between the two as seamless as possible. I know these things are easier and done, easier said than done, but we're trying to get there and we will do and I'll keep you updated. So Monday, watch out for the timeline schedule that tells you when things fall in place and how they fall into place. And trust me, they are really falling into place. And none of that would have been possible without this remarkable bunch of people on your side of the network and this side over here. I've never known anything like it. There wasn't even this kind of support and assistance in previous businesses. It wasn't there. We had some, of course we did, and many of you did lend your hands there. But here, it's that offer of support. I can't imagine that happening in your average business or, uh, or organization. That's because we're not an average business or organization. We can't be, not the way that you've stepped up to the plate and what you've brought to the table. So I appreciate that. We are going to have an amazing showcase, um, one that will bring us back home again and, you know, launch what I call the next phase of our business, the kickstart to our next phase. It's all evolution. It's all part this partnership. And I'm just proud to be part of it and proud to have each and every one of you on board. So I guess my final parting word, other than the thanks and the support you're giving, is whatever you can do, do get to the showcase. You know, fly there, walk there, whichever way you can get there, please do get there, even if you have to crawl there, because I want you to feel that sense of family, which I truly believe is missing in almost any other organization. We've got it, and that's something very special, so make the most of it. So I'll see you soon. I'll speak to you at midday on the 29th to give you a final update of where we are. That gives me literally another two weeks um, to get my act together and get everything falling into place, which it truly is. And remember what I said at the start, I'm not delivering a message on behalf of anybody else. This is not the company's message. This is my message directly to you, the people that matter in this organization. It is the message. Take care and have a great weekend. I'll speak to you in two weeks.